Hello YouTubers, this is Melissa, the M of the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles. I hope you're well. I hope you're good. Thank you very much for watching this posting. This posting is inspired by one of our clients who has asked the question, what can be done about unraveling ends? Um, she writes, my ends are unraveling quite a bit in some places and I'm worried they're going to develop like traditional locks because some of the curly ends are now more than the hair inside the pattern. Um, and what she means by that is, I will show you an example. Oh, that's a perfect example. There we go. She's worried that that bit is going to be bigger than the centre bit, which is interlocked, which remains interlocked. Now, the interesting thing about this hair tie, um, I'm very familiar with it because Aguette has the same hair tie. When we locked this client, we locked her to the tip. And any opportunity, the hair will kind of try to unravel, resist the, the teenage stage, the locking stage. Um, it's in the teenage stage. Um, and it try and rebel. And every opportunity will try and unravel, but it will settle. So she has the same hair type as um, somebody like Yaget, who, when I first cut her hair, hair was down to the middle of her back. When I cut her hair to under her ear, um, we found that the ends just automatically unraveled. Now, it isn't a problem unless you decide it's a problem. So it gets hair unraveled and it's settled. And that's what will happen with this hair type. It will unravel and it will settle. If it bothers you, you can choose to plait it or twist it. But as consultants, this is consultants, um, we do not um, go in there and try and lock the ends because it is not possible. What we will probably do is disturb um, the interlocking. Um, it would just look gappy. We'd probably be able to lock a bit and it would just be too, it would just complicate the lock and make the lock look a bit untidy. Now, if you are somebody who has done that for a client or has done that for yourself, please share because then I can share it on and help this client um, to encourage her ends to, if she chooses to encourage her ends to um, to kind of lock. You can twist it or plait it um, to tighten the ends and see whether that works. But I mean, if you choose to do that, you've got 400 plus locks. Well, this client has much more than that. Um, then um, good luck. But I would say, um, accept your hair for what it does because it's, it's your organic African hair, it's doing its natural thing. And because your locks are all uniform, it doesn't really matter because it will look right, it will look nice. You will have um, slightly bigger to the base, but because it's all uniform, which is what we get, how we get wears our hair, it works out fine, don't worry about it. But I also wanted to talk about matured locks that unravel. Um, and if your locks is matured locks, uh, what I mean by that is, let's say it's that three years plus um, hair, and you find your ends unraveling, um, it is possible that um, something you're using, uh, you've introduced into your grooming regime, that's softening your, your hair. Um, what product are you using to condition your hair? What product are you using to shampoo your hair? Think about what your what has changed um, and um, remove that. If you if you identify something new, remove it. Because what you're trying to do is, even though our hair is locked, sometimes depending on your hair type, you can cause it to unravel. So um, you need to use um, a product that um, has a roughness to it, so that um, it settles that uh, and your locks stop unraveling. Now, if you're somebody who has had this experience. Um, and you don't mind sharing, then please comment and I will share it to um, to the masses, basically, to our fan page and our profile page and wherever I can, um, because it needs to stop because that is a problem. But for those whose locks are kind of looking like they're trying to settle and they're unraveling to the end and you're a newbie, that is what your hair does. Accept your African organic hair locking in the way it does because it will lock in a uniform way and it will still end up looking superb. Don't worry about it. Have a look at my hair. I have twisted it one way, twisted it another way, and accessorized. On this side, I've got some flowers stuck in. I'll turn around slowly for you to see the back. And um, and then what I've done is I've um, got a few of my beads. And I've strung them round. Um, I've strung them through one of my um, bands. That is a necklace that has broken off. 
bit that broken off and I use it as a centerpiece. And then I've just stuck it in and stuck it there. So literally a band like that, threaded it through and stuck it in like that. Hope you like. Thank you. Oops. Hope you like. I'll sit properly so you can see. Do you like? Thank you very much for watching this posting. Stay blessed and take care of you. Bye. Ah, well, Mono Safel SK, original.